Now, many other times, various people employ the services of mostly ladies who do household chores, and they're commonly known as Mama Fua. For some in Nairobi, they say that their pursuit to earn a living has been a tough one, and uh, as they've had to deal with sexual advances from their employers, disrespect, and many other forms of uh, exploitation. More so for non-Kenyans, Nuru Abdulaziz delves into that issue. They are often known as Mama Fua from the Swahili title, which refers to domestic cleaning ladies. You'd probably meet them in an estate looking for casual jobs, such as washing clothes, utensils, houses, amongst household chores. Here in Nairobi, some of them are from neighboring countries like Tanzania and Uganda. Some claim that they face many challenges during the job, challenges that have allegedly been increasing, particularly now during the COVID-19 pandemic. Theirs is a story of looking to make a living, but ending up in what is akin to a living hell, one from whose flames they may not always be in a position to easily escape. <laughs> Sasa kupitia kwa hiyo hali anaanza kukusumbua anataka mulale na yeye. Baba yako anaenda kazi lakini mama bosi wangu alikuwa anaenda kazi. Ikafika mahali baba mwenyewe akataka kunirep by force. Nikapiga nduru majirani wakaniokoa. For the non Kenyans they say their experiences have been difficult as they have had to endure tough situations. Sasa natoka hapo tunaenda isiliu naenda kufulia mtu. Utaenda kwa nyumba mtu mtu utaangalia nyumba bedroom kama ine tano mtu atakwambia hata 2000 na watu wanaishi kwa ile nyumba karibu watu ngapi watu 10 ama 3000 hata kwambia kama atia utaki ufanye nini uwe uende aside from sexual harassment they claim to also face mistreatment and disrespect from other people in the households where they work utapata hadi watoto pia wanakukontrol wana kukontrol unafanya hapa wanaenda wanamwaga wanakuambia anti kuja upanguza hapa na wezi kata mama atatoka huko ataanza na kelele their experiences are allegedly worsened by what they explain to be exploitation by way of underpayment mwezi kuisha unapata karibu 3000 au 2000 mtu hata kupea pesa yako atakwambia kuja kesho kesho utaenda atakwambia kuja ke kuja kesho inakuwa sasa mnasumbuana na mtu some of them resort to getting married to Kenyan men in the bid to cushion themselves from hardship as well as address the lack of a work permit concern. Without the permit base covered, they have to find ways of keeping out of trouble with police and still get by, thereby exposing them to more exploitation. <laughs> Huyu ni mganda. Sasa bado sometimes ukienda huko kwa huko kwa Oria anakuuliza anti uko na ID unamwambia hapana anakuambia kama hauna ID mimi sita mimi sita kini tatafuta mwenye kama ID. Ningeomba tafadhali. Mtu saidie. Wa mama wenye tunafua isili tuko na shida shida shida. Kenya ningeomba serikali tusaidie. Ni vile tutaishi East Africa tunaza tumia kwa ID ya Kenya kufanya kazi Kenya, ID ya Tanzania kufanya kazi Kenya ama passport kama inaweza tusaidia. Due to these challenges, the women formed a group and partnered with the livelihood advancement organization that sought to empower them. One of the things we did was to supply them with uh, sanitizers and soaps and masks so they can be able to you know keep themselves safe as they as they walk uh, to the areas of uh, looking for jobs but also uh, also to give the confidence to their employers according to the organization the women risk falling into crime if their challenges are not addressed adequately nuru abdul aziz ntv